I guarantee you, get a real job, right? That's all they tell you, right? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I, I remember having those arguments with people in my family. Get a real job. Just get a real job. Like, you're unemployed. You're making videos online. You're going to games. You're wasting money going to games so you can make your videos and podcasts. Uh, you need to be focused on getting a real job. And it's just like, all right, whatever. Y'all don't understand. You know, imagine coming home to your wife twice. I quit MTV today. I didn't I didn't ask her for her consent or or her uh, permission to quit my jobs. When I quit my jobs, they kind of just, you know, conversations went a certain way where I was like, I'm out. Like, all right. Like, I don't think y'all value me. I don't think this is where I want to be. I did that at MTV. Came home. Hey, so I don't work there anymore. Uh, even with Rock Nation. Like, hey, so today was my last day. Like, what do you mean today was your last day? Like, we got to figure it out for a little while. I'm going to hustle. I'm going to do some things, man. I remember like selling everything I had from basketball shoes to DJ equipment to, you know, collector's items, baseball cards. Just like, man, I just need to put a couple dollars together. Um, and my wife was, you know, she was down. She worked and I leaned on her at some times. But for the most part, like I said, I would go out there and hustle and grind. I, didn't, I never wanted it to be a long period of time where I didn't have a check or I didn't have uh, money to provide or to take care of things. But like I said, man, if you find someone that believes in you young and stands by you, like um, my whole my whole thing is that like I wanted to be successful to like pay my wife back in a way. And she doesn't look at it like that. But I looked at it as like, hey, you trusted in me, in me and believed in me. You, you're you you're going to reap the benefits of all this, too. Like right. your student loan debt, I'm going to wash your student loan debt. Like you're not going to have to worry about anything later on in life because you trusted in me. You believed in me. I'll take it from here. If you played the victim card, you wouldn't be successful, right? right like exactly. same with me. If I played the victim card, I'd be looking for sympathy. I'd be looking for excuses or making excuses. Right. Uh, I throw that out there just to let people know, like it, the, the the odds were stacked against me. I played the hand that I was dealt and I won. And you can win, too, if you feel like the cards are stacked against you. But are you willing to sacrifice? Are you willing to go the, the route less traveled? Are you willing to humble yourself for a couple months? Right. You know, some people well, don't egos, realize like egos get in the way. Too. You got to defeat your yeah, own ego. Right. I had to defeat my own ego of myself and who I thought I was. And that was the best thing for me. It helps you now. It helps me now. Right. When people meet me now, they're like, you're so humble or, you know, you're so kind to everyone. I'm like, yeah, I, I know not to be an asshole. I know not to be a dickhead because life humbled me a long time ago because I struggled because I came from nothing. So what I have now, I'm thankful for. And I don't look at anyone else differently. I don't treat anyone like they're underneath me. Right. I'm happy to be where I am. And I'm, I'm, I'm grateful for anyone that gives me their time of day. Yo, what's up? It's Keith McPherson from MLB Network and WFAN. Just wrapped up a great interview with Eddie Mata. Who is Eddie Mata? Man, he's the guy. You got to check him out. Subscribe to all of his stuff. Facebook, Twitter. Check him out. Eddie Mata. And make sure you check my interview out as well.